Yes, and welcome, everybody, to a brand new series. This is Train Simulator 2018. You can tell that because you can see the title right in front of you. Come on, get with the program. Anyway, this is a brand new series, as I said, and what I'm looking to do is learn how to play this game. This is the very first time I've ever owned this particular game, and I have not much idea at all. I've watched a few videos just out of interest but I've never played it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start to learn right from the very basics and hopefully become a decent driver in the future so for those of you that have played this game you can give me a whole lot of tips in the comments would be really appreciated and those that haven't you can learn along with me and let's see if we can get ourselves sorted on this particular game so what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into the academy and there might be a few misclicks as we go by the way guys because I am literally brand new so here we go okay we're in the academy it looks like first scenario is a01 that sounds good place to start so let's start it right now diesel control oh here we are hopefully if i wasn't too lazy i edited out that loading screen i'm sure i would have okay here we go one of eight welcome you know, I, I, I kind of hate how people read things aloud when you can read it, but I'll do it anyway just in case you're not paying attention. This is a cab of the SD70 MAC, so the SD70 Mac, I'm going to call it, diesel locomotive. In this lesson, we'll learn how to start and stop. Well, I reckon starting is pretty important, and stopping is probably just as important. The camera will change each time a controller is set correctly. Close these message boxes to continue. Okay, direction. To get the train moving, you to set the direction by adjusting the reverser. Okay, that's this here. Set this to forward by pushing the control away from you. Easy as that. Boom. Now release the brakes. Here, brakes. Uh, no. Oh, this handle. How about I read it? Uh, hold on. Release. Uh, to the pull lever. Pull the large lever all the way down. It already is. Oh, no, it isn't. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be a very good train driver, but I could probably use these ones here, could I not? No. All right. First two scenarios completed. What now? What now? I did it. Okay, okay. Finally, we need power. This is controlled by the throttle. Very similar to aircraft. Pull the lever down halfway to apply a bit of power. There we go. Halfway down. Boom. Okay, guys. This could be it. Oh, we are away. We've got no current destination. We're on a road to nowhere. Okay, we've got something happening down the bottom here. This looks like a bit of a moving map. Congratulations, you're driving the locomotive. Woo! I don't know how to stop, though. Could be an issue. It's a bit bouncy. What's this? Is this speed? 46.2? Okay, constant speed. To maintain speed, we don't need any power. Hey? Eh? And can coast along. Move the throttle back to the center position between the brake and power indications. However, weight and gradients when hauling trains may have an effect on your speed, so a low throttle setting may be required. Okay, so let's put that right in the middle. There we go. Following instructions, there we go. Beautiful. So apparently once you get your momentum up, it looks like you just continue on. And we're ripping along here. Things are looking good. This looks like a bit of a dashboard. Hold on, here goes a fact. Trains are very heavy. No shit. And can and can need a lot of force to get moving. It's not a good idea to apply maximum power from standing as it may induce wheel slip or damage the engine. Good to know. Stopping, okay, here we go. This is an important bit. Now we want to stop. As our train is just a locomotive, spit it out, we will use the independent brake. Push the small lever past the REL label, okay. How much, how far past though? Half past, I don't know, didn't say. Just give it a guess. I think we could be slowing down. Oh, there's a brick wall coming up here, team. Let's hope this, these brakes have been serviced. Are we slowing down? Uh, I think this is our speed here. This could be miles per hour, or is it kilometers? It's not telling me anything. The scenario ends down here. So you either end by crashing into the concrete wall, or you end by stopping this thing. Looks like we're slowing down quite nicely. 2019. Looking good. How do we look around? Here we go, left mouse, or right mouse button. What's happening out there? Nothing, this looks like a bit of a training ground. They've probably got people miles away because they heard that I was jumping into the seat. Okay, five, four, three. Looks like we are going to stop in time. You little ripper. Scenario is complete. We've got a steam achievement. Everyone loves those. Right, back to the 
may, oh no, here we go, what's going on here? Rankings are not, okay. Performance, okay. Back to the main menu, catch you soon. Okay, that came straight back to the main, main menu, there you go. Learn something new every day, all right. So we've got the primary control sorted. Now we, the DMU. Okay, so we're going through the different types of train, so why not, let's do it. What's this, what's this all mean? I don't know what this means. What's five mean? Five minutes? I suppose. <laughs> All right, we are back. We're in the Train Simulator Academy train. This time it's a DMU. Oh, I think that's what it was called. This is the cab of a Class 170, a diesel multiple unit. There you go, DMU. In this lesson, we'll learn how to start and stop. Great, we, we, we sort of get how that works. The camera will change view when each control is set correctly. Close the message boxes to continue. Okay, great. Let's get the train moving. You'll need direction and power. Direction is controlled by the reverser. Push us all the way forward. Ooh, okay. Boom. Here we go. Pumpfer, get rid of that. Combined lever. This train has a combined power and brake lever. Ooh, tricky. Set in the middle. Power is neutral. Okay. To accelerate, pull the lever towards you. To notch three. Boom. Boom. Three. There we go. Tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, I actually could be a natural. We are speaking quite early. I just thought I'd put wipers on. I saw that was down there. Why not? Doesn't look like you lose the scenario by doing that. I wonder what all these do. Have they got little pop-ups to tell you? Oh, they do. Driving. Congratulations, you're on the move. Now it's safe to apply full power. Pull the lever all the way down. Roger that. Boom, we're away. Okay, so you've got to get moving for a start, so what it's saying is don't, it's sort of like a car, you don't put a, your foot straight down on the pedal unless you want to do wheelies, same deal here. There we go, let's have a look around the cab, it's looking very clean, looks like it's maintained well, although that has got a rusty bracket on that fire extinguisher, could be a problem. We've got a radio down here, we can tune into the local radio station, oh hold on a minute, we've got something to do. To maintain a speed, we don't need any power and can coast. Yep, we knew that. Push, push the lever to off. Air resistance and gradients may have an effect on speed. Okay. So, we're on off. We go. so, we take, so you get the big power up and the weight just carries it along and away we go. Okay, so 30.4, I think 100 underneath. I wonder if that means the speed limit. It probably does. But we're ticking along quite nicely here, everybody. This graphic's a little bit dodgy up through there. Now I want to push a lever slowly forwards until the camera resets. Close this message box to continue. Okay. Slowly then, wait. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Oh, there we go. I don't know what happened there. Have we got fuel? I think we do. That's good. Oh, the brake's up there. Okay. Bang. We brake. Scenario complete. Wreck it up, everybody. Easy as that, and we're straight back to the main menu. Okay, we might as well do the engine controls, continue those. Does it tell us that we've completed them? It doesn't. Look, it's not telling me it's complete. I completed that. I completed that. Where's my prize? Okay, let's get into the electric train. Let's start and see what the story with the primary controls at on the electric train looks like. Back in a second. All right, we're back in. Oh, no, this is an electric train. We're not, we've never been in this one yet. We've got look at the power lines above. This is a BR189. Who didn't know that? Electric locomotive. In this lesson, we will learn how to start and stop. Okay. The camera will change each time a controller is set correctly. Cl close these messages, message boxes to continue. This is too hard to read. All right. The locomotive requires electricity collected through a pantograph. There we go, learn something today on the roof. To raise and lower it, use the indicated switch. For now, it's already raised. Thank you for that. To get the train moving, you need to set the direction by adjusting the reverser. Set this forward by pushing the control away from you. Look, this is a bit of a handle. How far away? How far though? How far does this thing go? There? Now I go bumper. Okay, that's as far as it goes. Now release the brakes. To do this, push the lever all the way forward. What lever? The round one? Boom. Okay, that's cool. I don't understand any of these letters here. If we go bang. Okay, power. Now we need power. I see a, 
I see a pattern developing here team. Finally we need power. This is controlled by the throttle. Push the lever forward halfway to apply power. Boom, there we go. Easy as that. Okay, it's winding up. You are driving the locomotive, congratulations. Thank you. Let me guess, now I've got to stop it. Let's have a look inside this cab. Once again, very, oh, hold on. We're back at doing something here. To maintain the speed, we don't, okay, we know about that. Pull the throttle back to zero. However, wait and blah, 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 okay. Bumper back to zero, thank you. I was checking out the cabin. Once again, quite tidy, a few marks around the place this time. Not too much attention to detail. Half the seat is missing. They might want to get maintenance on today. Got some panels back here. Maybe that's where you put your lunch. Okay, now we've got to stop. Okay. Pull the lever halfway towards you. I'm trying to... Oh, not all the way. Halfway. Bumpfer. Okay. We were 36 and now we're reducing quite significantly down here. Look at that. Man, that stops quickly, although maybe we weren't going that fast. Okay, here goes the pantograph right here. Do you like how I use the correct term there? All right, achievement completed. How we're we looking here. Main menu. How many are these? How far into the video are we? About 12 minutes. Probably a little bit less because I've edited some stuff out, hopefully. Okay, Academy. Bang it in there, boys. And girls, of course. Um, okay, so primary controls on Steam. We might be able to get all these controls sorted in one video, I'm thinking. That would make life a lot easier. Okay, let's start this up. Fowler 4F Academy. Okay, this is a steam train. All right, there goes our steam train right there. As it comes into picture, that guy's got his hand out the, work, the door. That doesn't look that safe. It's probably me, is it? No, I was on the other side. This is a cab of the British Railways 4F steam locomotive. In this lesson, we'll learn how to start and stop. The camera will change. Okay, we know. Okay, okay. Just tell us what we already know. Turn the reverser to full foot. Look at this equipment. It's a bit outdated. All the way anti-clockwise. Okay, there we go. That's a bit different, that one. It's quite difficult. Now release the brakes by moving the lever to off. Boom. This will create a vacuum to hold the brake pads off the wheels. Basic engineering. Starting, finally open the regulator by moving it upwards and vertical. What one? This one here? Whoop far. Hold on, does it go any further? I don't know if that's right. Oh, it is right, I think. It's making all sorts of sounds, and we are away. You haven't really got much of a window to look out here. I'm driving a steam locomotive. Look at it bumping all over the place. Locomotive is more efficient with lower reverser settings, which are necessary to achieve higher speeds. We turn the reverser clockwise by 1.25 times. Jeez. Okay. Uh, one, two, five is a quarter, so another quarter turn. That a quarter turn. Hey. Uh, uh, that, there we go. Close enough. I reckon that's pretty good. It's not liking it though because it's not going to the next. There we go. That wasn't one and a quarter. It was one and a half. Now the reverse has been reduced, it's safe to open the regulator all the way. Push it up as far as it will go. Well, why, why, how can I do it? I'm out here. Did I do it? How do I get back in? I already had it up, did I? I have no idea what I've done. Okay, I already had it all the way up, so it was a bit of an unsafe maneuver there. Now let's stop the locomotive before the end of the track. Close the regulator by pulling it all the way down. Okay. I'm trying to pull this down. This way. Yes. The brake gauge. When the needle is at 21, the brakes are fully released or off. When the needle is at zero, the brakes are fully applied or on. Good to know. Apply the brakes by moving the lever halfway between on and off positions. Okay. Yeah, okay, great. If it shows 15, slowly move the lever towards off until the needle stops moving. This is called setting the brakes to hold. Okay. If it shows 15. Well, where are we? 
what, what are we looking at? Oh, we're we talking about the speed? Shows 15? I think that's what they're talking about. I'm just going to go with that. Oh, look, see those controls down the bottom there do actually work too, these ones down here. Look at this, I think I got it right, everybody. Scenario complete! Woo! Unbelievable. All right, how are we looking for time? What I think I'll do, guys, is... Um, okay, I'm going to stop this video here. And I am going to go and record the second part of this straight away. Um, so if you probably, by the time you make comments on this video, the next video will already be ready to go. So I won't see those comments before next time. Does that make sense? I have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyway, there we go, guys. Primary controls, diesel, DMU, electric and steam. Done and dusted. I can start some trains. I can stop some trains. But if you ask me to do it without prompts, it's going to be a bit of a problem. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to smash your like button down below if you enjoyed this type of video. And until next time, take it easy.